the very same people that we are attacking here today, we want businesses in their countries. Now, do we think that the continent and the world is not seeing what is happening in South Africa? It is. How we deal with the challenge is what makes the world sit up and look at, look at us and say, are these the same South Africans who uh, uh, spent some time in our own countries? We gave them the space. We as leaders in our communities need to make sure that we calm this whole thing down and find a better way of resolving it other than being seen to be people who are paying for blood all the time. For me, the bottom line is that no matter how much we burn, no matter how much we think we're killing them, we're not benefiting much as South Africans. Because some of them now in Soweto, the ones that uh, people wanted to take over their shops in Soweto, now people are not finding the products in those shops. Some of those shops which were taken over, people are complaining now. Now we don't have anywhere to go. Yeah, well, you have nowhere else to go because we thought the people who be believe that they have to take over the shops, they'll be able to manage the shops.